What's up team? So today, we're gonna be testing if we can take slime and put it down inside of a potato launcher and send it right on out. Uh, we made a bunch of slime and I just remembered that I had my potato launcher in the trunk of my car and I was thinking to myself, how would we do that? So today, we're gonna be testing if we can send slime out of a potato launcher. All right guys, so the one thing uh, that I thought about a little bit ahead of time, so we have this fluffy slime right here, and then we have this regular slime. So slime's really sticky, right? So I was like, all right, well that's not gonna work. It's just not gonna go down the barrel. So I started thinking about that a little bit, and I thought, all right, well, I have this mineral oil, which is like super duper slippery. I mean, like, it will make anything slip and slide. So I was like, I wonder if I coat the inside of the barrel with some of this mineral oil that we are holding the potassium in, I'm just gonna go ahead and just soak this rag. I'm literally just gonna send this down the, the actual barrel. I'm gonna get the inside of that really nice and goopy. It's a lot of, oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I can tell you right now, it slid right down the barrel. All right, I choo choo choose this piece. The guy right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, down she goes. Down's the hatch. Okay, I think right about there. One, two, three. Lock it in place. Okay, and we're gonna go slime on three. Three, two, one, slime. <laughs> so it kind of worked. Let's go take a look. So one piece worked back here. That kind of went through. It'll be interesting to see that in slow motion. This is our main piece, and it kind of just like tumbled out. Didn't really do anything super impressive. It kind of just like it made a really cool sound. And it's it's still, you know, it's still really squishy. It's definitely dirty. I bet we could probably even reload it. Give it another shot. Okay, so I thought it just like, it, it didn't work. I thought it thudded out, but actually that was incorrect. What happened is, it just hit the ground. So our, our aiming was wrong. So we're gonna tilt up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and give us another shot. Cause it, I think if we get it right, it's gonna look really cool. Get it nice and luby. Luby, luby, luby. Okay. Down the hatch. All right, round number two. One, two, three. All right, three, two, one, slime. <laughs> it totally worked, but it didn't splatter at all. foam slime, which is very different than just the regular slime, it held its structural integrity out of the barrel and then when it hit, it kind of like belly flopped and then it kind of like took in all of the force and then it kind of pushed it back out again. So it's kind of, in a weird way, it's like, it's like rubber. I mean, it totally took the force, boom, and then it kind of bounced and then it kind of came back, but it stayed intact. It didn't, it didn't rip apart. Which is really interesting because it's like, you know, this is a polymer and so that, that really kind of proves how strong a polymer really is. I mean, a little bit of boric acid and some baking soda and we've taken this standard glue and shaving cream and made it into something that is 
almost indestructible. We shot it out of a potato launcher and it just bounced. That's really impressive. I'm really, really, really impressed by how sturdy this stuff is. All right, now let's test the other slime. Okay, now this stuff is gonna be a bit of a challenge because it's really sticky. And so it, it's cool because it kind of breaks like that, you know, but the problem is I don't want it to break too much inside of there. So we're gonna go small at first. We're just gonna kind of make like a little, little chunk like this. And that's what we're gonna shoot out of there. This little slime ball. <laughs> See what happens. Now, my prediction is because of the way this stuff works, it's very different than, than the, uh, the foamy slime. It, it just kind of rips apart. If we get this thing to actually go out of the barrel, I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna kind of like explode in a bunch of different pieces, but only one would find out. That mineral oil makes everything so insanely lubricated. <laughs> Here we go. Slime on three. Three, two, one, clear slime. It just exploded it. <laughs> it definitely kept the pressure, but it just exploded it inside of the barrel really nothing came out. So what that tells us is like, it couldn't even hold. It just sounded like a gunshot. Someone, someone, someone might call the cops on us. That was really loud. Um, if you take a look over here, there's just, you know, little tiny pieces. Look at that. It just got shredded. It didn't even come out. I mean, Basically what happened is, is the force coming out of the actual barrel just ripped it to shreds and before it even got all the way out, it just turned to just like a shotgun, like nothing. Nada. So basically what we learned is, the only thing that can really sustain the force is the fluffy slime. The other type of slime, because it's the same ingredients, that one, it's just it just got ripped to little shreds. Um, if you like this video, go and give us a thumbs up. If you love science, hit that subscribe button in the comment section below, let me know. Did this kind of blow your mind where you're like, wow, I didn't think slime was gonna even, even be able to come out. I didn't know what it was gonna do, but I'm shocked that it did anything at all. Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, again, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys really soon.